Each year, billions of tons of soil are lost in the United States through soil erosion. Erosion reduces soil productivity and deteriorates the quality of our soil and water. The resulting sediment causes stream pollution and reduces the capacity of our reservoirs. Erosion removes the topsoil first, eventually exposing the less productive subsoil beneath. In the most severe cases, eroded land may no longer be productive and must be abandoned. Soil erosion is a gradual process that is caused by two forces of nature, water and wind. Water erosion begins with the force of each individual raindrop. Raindrops may seem insignificant, but they strike the ground with amazing force. Rain can pound the ground at speeds of up to 30 miles an hour. An intense storm on bare soil can loosen and detach up to 100 tons of soil per acre. Wind erosion occurs as the wind picks up and moves small particles of soil. As wind speeds increase, the amount of soil picked up on a bare field may easily double or even triple. For instance, if a 20 mile per hour wind increases to 30 miles per hour, the rate of erosion triples. There are three distinct types of wind erosion, creep, saltation, and suspension. Laboratory studies have shown that more than half of all soil eroded by wind is moved by saltation, with the remainder about equally divided between suspension and surface creep. Wind erosion typically begins at ground level as the wind causes soil particles to roll or creep over the ground. Particles roll or slide in almost continuous contact with the soil surface. Creep erosion is an extremely slow process and difficult to see without a lot of time and measurements. Wind moving soil particles in a hopping or bouncing fashion is called saltation. With each bounce, the grains typically reach heights of less than two inches above the surface and move horizontally about two to four inches. The impact of the particles falling back to earth dislodges additional soil that is sent in the downwind direction. Wind erosion is most visible during the suspension stage when soil is actually moving through the air. This is seen most dramatically during a dust storm. Soil particles suspended in the air can move hundreds or even thousands of miles before they are deposited. Water and wind erosion are naturally occurring processes that have been accelerated by many human activities, such as farming, construction, and other soil disturbance activities. Everyone should be aware of the potential damage that wind and water can inflict on their land and explore necessary measures to reduce their harmful effects.